Hi, if you're like me, you know The Great Escape 1963 is one of the greatest movies of all time. So today, I thought it would be fun if you pulled up a chair by the campfire and watch it again with the entire cast of Then and Now. I will tell you about the original names and ages of the actors and how they changed in 2023. Okay, let's see together. Handley the Scrooge is played by actor James Garner. In 1963 when filming, he was 35 years old. And sadly, on July 19, 2014, he passed away at the age of 86 in Los Angeles, California, USA. Colin, do you have any tea? Yes, of course. Then let's have some. Splendid. And they said, you've got to lay off. I said, how long? He said, well, we don't know. We'll check in a month and find out. So I called us. Hills the Cola King is played by actor Stephen McQueen. In 1963 when filming, he was 33 years old, and sadly on November 7, 1980, he passed away at the age of 50 in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. Well, it's kind of a sport that, uh, here in California in the is desert. So? Yeah, I've got something over the hill here that you may be interested in. It's called a sand dune buggy. Daniel Tano King is played by actor Charles Bronson. In 1963 when filming, he was 42 years old, and sadly on August 30th, 2003, he passed away at the age of 81 in Los Angeles, California, USA. I love you. I love you? What bloody good is that? I don't know. I wasn't going to use it myself. In the Puerto Rican section, special delivery. We'd come back, he'd have blisters on his toes, and he'd take the socks off and put them on the radiator. It's like to dry. <laughs> Bartlett Big Axe is played by actor Richard Attenborough. In 1963, when filming, he was 40 years old. And sadly, on August 24, 2014, he passed away at the age of 90 in Northwood, London, England. My name's Roger. All right, Roger. Uh, yours is uh, Virgil, isn't it? Hills. Just make it hilts. The man in the films? I think he was. Uh, as I've just said, he's so huge that slightly dominates everything when you first yes. meet. Ashley Pitt Dispersor is played by actor David McCollum. In 1963 when filming, he was 30 years old. And now he's living healthy life at the age of 89. You fill these bags with the dirt from the tunnel. Then... Wearing them inside your trousers. I cut the wires by throwing the bowie knife, which meant that the special effects knife flew across the room, hit the snap. Sedwick Manufacturer's play of actor James Coburn. In 1963, when filming, he was 35 years old, and sadly, on November 18, 2002, he passed away at the age of 74 in Beverly Hills, California, USA. I'm watching him. I'm a lifeguard. Yes! So there's a lot of reactions I'm sure that he got that he used. I don't know if you can talk to Katie about that because she was there all the time. As a, a group, as a bunch of acts. Eve S. The Moy's play actor Angus Lenny. In 1963 when filming, he was 33 years old. And sadly on September 14, 2014, he passed away at the age of 84 in Acton, London, England. Feet four? Why? Oh, just wondering. What did you do in college? Study physical education? Why? Wasn't it that bit? You know, those strips <coughs> were real, but the actual bars which would tear your hand. McDonald Intelligence is played by actor Gordon Jackson. In 1963, when filming, he was 40 years old. And sadly, on January 15, 1990, he passed away at the age of 66 in London, England. Your job is very good. Oh, thanks, Mac. I've put in a lot of... Oh, now watch it, Haynes. It's the easiest way in the world to trip up a suspect. Don't fall for that. Pinewood, with a new system. It was a brilliant idea called Independent Frame. Instead of building sets, they took yeah. photographs of houses and rooms. Willie Tano King is played by actor John Layton. In 1963, when filming, he was 27 years old. And now he's living out his life at the age of 87. Hug, hug, hug. Hang out, hey. 
You're not in your hat. What are you doing here? Mopping up. But um, no, I fell off a lot of times. But uh, I eventually got the hang of it. But as I say, I've never, I had never ridden a bike before. Ramsey the Espio is played by actor James Donald. In 1963 when filming, he was 46 years old, and sadly on August 3, 1993, he passed away at the age of 76 in West Hartley, Hampshire, England. Donald says he's the best. Good. Last of the tea until the Red Cross gets through again. I scrounged this from Sedgwick. Von Luger the Commandant is played by actor Han Massemer. In 1963 when filming, he was 39 years old, and sadly on November 2, 1991, he passed away at the age of 67 in Aachen, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. You will not be denied the usual facilities. Sports, a library. Blythe the Forger is played by actor Donald Pleasance. In 1963 when filming, he was 44 years old, and sadly, on February 2nd, 1995, he passed away at the age of 75 in St. Paul de Vence, Alps Maritimes, France. Oh, uh, bird watcher? Yes, that's right. Watching them and, uh, drawing them. Cavendish Surveyor is played by actor Nigel Stock. In 1963, when filming, he was 44 years old. And sadly, on June 23rd, 1986, he passed away at the age of 66 in Camden, London, England. Take straight down 30 feet before we go horizontal. That'll rule out any question of sound detection or probing. All right, Roger, but did you say the first tunnel? I did. Let me know who's your favorite character from the movie The Great Escape and share your thoughts on the deceased actors by leaving your comments under this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again.